This is the Micromax Microlite. Uh, right now, this is the smallest light that we carry. Um, features of this light, uh, it has an on and off uh, button. This is the on and off uh, one mode version. It also comes in a three mode version. It has the same type of button. Uh, the modes are a fast blink, a slower blink, and then full power, which is just like an on. Um, these lights use two 1616 batteries. They work with any light and they are ideal for gloving because of their size. Oh, and they also come with two diffusers, the open end and the closed end. And they also are compatible with the premium diffusers. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to assemble a Micromax Microlite. Uh, these are all your basic parts. Uh, you have the, the casing, the back door, uh, the LED, the two 1616 batteries, and the chipboard. All right, for the LED on this one, you're gonna to wanna to cut it probably the shortest of any other microlite that we have. Um, the reason being you want the LED to touch the back of the chip on this. All right, to start, take your two 1616s, make sure the writing is faced up on both of them, sound them together, put them in between the bat the chip and the battery arm slides in like that then you have the button on the back and the two holes where the prongs go of the LED you're going to put it in kind of lightly at first so you can test which way they go so this is the right way but if it was the wrong way all you do is flip it around and then put it in and then you're good to go so put it in like so. It's gonna snap in, then test it, works. Then you're gonna take this whole thing and put it inside of the casing. Now this one has, a, the very bottom of it is the opening. So you slide it in, doesn't matter which way it goes. Slide it in, the LED is gonna come out of the front hole. Then you take the back door and kind of make sure that it's covering both ends of the chip and the battery and it's going to snap in like that and there you go it's all put together and putting on the diffusers just slides right onto the bulb like that snug uh, troubleshooting tips for your Micromax Microlite um, if the button isn't working like say your light isn't turning on what you can do is take out the chip, like so. Um, one reason might be that when you're taking out your batteries, you might have bent the arm up too high. So all you have to do is kind of bend that down, make sure you know it's nice and bent down so that you're going to make contact between the arm and the batteries when you put the casing on. Uh, so that might be the reason. Then you just slide it back in. Uh, another reason might be that your casing is squeezed too far together. So what you're going to do is grab it by the ends like this and squeeze it out. So you're making more room for the button. So squeeze it out a little bit so it's like a little bit more open. And you just slide chip back in, put back on the door, and uh, should be good to go.